This is a Hot Pie Media original. Your bra is tracking you. Let me set this up. Let me. This is one of the reasons why I think you would have to, uh, I guess, watch the YouTube channel to fully appreciate this. I'll try to give you a visual um, before we get to the, the, the dramatic part. And the dramatic part is your bra is tracking you. I mean, your underwear may as well. I don't know. Just take your clothes off right now. You got to get naked right now because your stuff is following you. So here we have a TikTok video. Uh, looks like we've got the the tripod is set up so we can see the picture. We've got the scissors out. We've got the pink and black bra out. Uh, there's a open can of Coke. Looks like maybe some cigs on the desk as well. Um. <laughs> See, I started the show with talking about the devil that is social media and what it's doing to us. But can we acknowledge the upside to social media and how well that it outs stupid? I mean, it really does a masterful job of letting stupid be front and center. It does a masterful job of, granted, stupid passes along to stupid. We know that. But it also does a masterful job for the people that aren't stupid to see stupid in real time and in real life. So there's an upside. That said, she's a she's cutting away. <laughs> she's cutting away at the bra. I didn't know Victoria's Secret was still with us. So obviously she goes to the mall, the mall, in whatever town and whatever place. And so she is now discovered, don't know how exactly, I don't know if it was making a sound. I don't know if your bra makes a ticking sound or a beeping sound or your underwear makes a beeping sound, but she has discovered that the tag in her bra from Victoria's Secret for all this time has been tracking her. I just watched a video. I have a pink bra here, pink. If you have anybody in your family that has the new pink bras, I've had this one for one year now, as of today, um, September, what? We're Labor Day. So I'm cutting off this tag, and they are tracking us. They are human trafficking us. This is how they find your daughter. This, folks, look in the bras, get rid of this. This is a tracking device. It even, it even has little numbers on it down here. Mm -hmm. They are tracking your children. Hmm. Okay, well, there's a lot to unpack here. First of all, I believe she has a cookie monster tattoo on the inside of her forearm. There's that. Um, yeah, ladies, uh, I, yeah, I don't know, maybe just everyone check their tags right now. I, <laughs> let's, let's help, help us all out for a second. So Victoria's Secret is tracking the lady with a cookie monster tattoo and a pack of cigarettes right in front of her. I don't know about, I don't know about Mr. Cookie Monster tattoo. He's not going to be too happy. He's going to say, where's the, where, where's the lingerie? I can't wear it. It's tracking me. So the white underwear and the white bra don't track you. Just the Victoria's Secret stuff tracks you. Okay, but let's help help each other out. You're being tracked. Why is Victoria's Secret tracking you? There. Why? Oh, <laughs> I don't know if her children. I don't know if her children wear that bra. That's a weird thing. I'm not comfortable being here, but she said it. So they're, they're tr human tracking, I believe she said, human tracking or trafficking. Victoria's Secret is human trafficking your children by tracking them in that pink and black bra. Why? Why and how? So let's assume as she cuts away at the tags and is telling every other woman in this country and the world for that matter, if you have a Victoria's Secret bra, they're tracking you. Because she's going to cut out the tag. Little numbers there. What are they doing with the information about you? So this lady goes from the mall. 
I'm going to assume she's in Odessa. I'll just make this up. She's in Odessa, and she, you know, for the first time, it's going to be a big night. They got some Chardonnay, and she's got some Victoria's Secret stuff. Big night with Mr. Cookie Monster Tattoo Guy. Um, but she can't wear it anymore. I'm sorry. I'm going to wear the white Hanes because I'm not going to get tracked, all right? They don't track the white Hanes. Haynes doesn't track you. Victoria's Secret with the thong really, I mean, imagine if she, I don't want to think about this and I don't want to see where the other Cookie Monster tattoo is, but imagine what they do with your thong. What kind of tracking device is in that thing? What? Because that company sucks, I think. Um, I think they're struggling to stay alive. So what have they been doing, ladies, all this time that they've been tracking you with your bra and underwear? It's not helping the business. How are they trafficking? Mean, I don't make jokes about human trafficking, but she's she went here. How? I've wondered what Bill Gates does when he chips you. What? What do they do? What what happens with that? What's the upside to tracking you? Now we got underwear and bras tracking you. What are they doing with it? What's going to happen to her? The entire time, I don't know how often she wore the bra. I I don't know that's going to help because that Cookie Monster tattoo is kind of a buzzkill to me, but maybe Mr. Cookie Monster loves it. Okay? When you buy <laughs> when you buy the bra for your child, <laughs> what is happening with the tracking? I just want to know what database, what are they doing to you by tracking you? Listen again. I mean, she lays out a pretty, she's upset. She's upset. Um, left forearm, cookie monster, tattoo, and all. She is upset. I just watched a video. I have a pink bra here. That's the brand. Pink. Yeah. P -I you have... Anybody in your family that has the new pink bras? I've had this one for one year now. Uh oh. As of today, um, September what? We're Labor Day. Oh. So I'm cutting off this tag, and they are tracking us. They are human trafficking us. This is how they find your daughter. This, folks, look in the bras, get rid of this. This is a tracking device. It even, it even has little numbers on it down yeah. here. They are tracking your children. Damn it. Get out of your underwear and bra right now. Get out of it. Get it off. Throw it. It's like trick them. I know what you need to do. Trick them. Like go down the Ladybird Lake and throw your bras in there, and then they'll track it to that spot. Trick them. Your kids, go to school right there. Kids, get your clothes off. By the way, who bought their kid that bra? <sighs> Boy. Yeah. I don't think it's a Cookie Monster tattoo. I just saw it. I think it's Yeti. It's, or or it's uh, Cousin It. She's got a furry thing on the inside of her forearm. <laughs> I, don't, I mean, look at it, lady. Look at it, ladies. Human trafficking. You just, she saved every woman in this country just now. Well, I don't know how many, maybe not enough people buy the bras anymore. So therein lies the problem. So uh, you got to get out of your clothes um, quickly. You got to wear, Hanes does not track. That we do know. Well, the white Hanes, bra and underwear, they don't track. Thongs, very much tracking. Okay. So get rid of it. Sue them, whatever you're going to do. Just please answer, since they've been tracking you, and they've been tracking her and her cousin It tattoo and the unfiltered cigarettes that are right in front of her. Um, what has Victoria's Secret been doing in this tracking and with the tracking information from your bra and underwear? John McClellan is the co-founder and creator of ATX Hot Sauce in all 50 states, now in several retail outlets as well. So we're going to... Turn it over to the social media rock chef superstar. And we're going to walk through a few sauces and why you should buy. We've done beet heat. So we're second in line now for the tasting. Don't forget, everyone, go to atxhotsauce.com. So here we go. All right. So this one is our smoked habanero five pepper. We smoke habaneros 
with um, ancho. Pasilla. Is that going to hurt? This one? No, yeah. this one's actually really, really good. Okay. This is like your traditional tapatilla, but yeah. uh, without the vinegar in it, right? And because of that fermentation process that we've yeah. talked about all the time. This one is great on sandwiches, pizzas, things like that. Uh, great on hot wings. Uh, I think you're going to really like this okay. one too, especially the smoky flavor with the adobe chipotle and the um, uh, the smoked habaneros. We actually smoked the habaneros um, before we... Uh, Does that go with the cab? This would not go with the cab. This would go with the great Chenin Blanc, though. <laughs> I, knew you gonna, I teed you up with that one. Yeah, yeah. That is good. That's yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah. good. It's just classic yeah. take. Uh, yes. Well, it's a new take on a classic item. Uh -huh. So it's called Smoked Habanero Five Pepper. All right, don't forget one ATX. Of my favorites. Don't forget ATXHotsauce.com. I, I guess no one is going to call out. Um, no one's going to call out these ministers. Is it just, you just can't do it? I mean, particularly if you have an R next to your name, you can't do it. Here is, uh, I think you might, you know, what is his name? Greg Lockie or Greg Locke or whatever that lunatic is. I think this guy might be worse. And apparently this is a thing and it's an ongoing thing. He's bragging about it. Follow this. You want to see slimy. You want to hear slimy then here it is. A pastor is encouraging people to donate to his church so they be can become an online member and get his signature on a religious exemption from coronavirus vaccine measures. No joke. Jackson Lehmeyer is his name, and there's others apparently doing this. Donate to the church, you get a signature that then gives you the religious exemption. That's slimy. By the way, you don't need the exemption, but people are doing it, of course. I mean, you know, we talk about people preying upon other people. We, we rip Facebook. No one wants to rip these ministers that are actively encouraging people to not get the vaccine and then go so far as to say, give me some money and I'll sign something so you don't have to get it. Where, where, where's the outrage about that stuff? So follow how this how happy this guy is about this stuff. The pastor Jackson Lehmeyer is also a small business owner running in the Republican primary to challenge. This is in Oklahoma to to challenge someone else. So business owner, politician, oh pastor, and I'm going to assume tax exempt, and now is selling, selling, donate, become a member, you get a signature. Lehmeyer, who leads the Sheridan Church with his wife, Kendra, said in the past two days, 30,000 people have downloaded the religious exemption form he's created. 30,000. This is, I think it's a church in Tulsa. So you understand what he's doing. Um, I, you know, if you want to say brilliant, I think that's a you problem. I mean, this is so slimy. Donate to me, you get a form, you're exempt. You get the religious exemption, which, by the way, you don't need the form. He says, it's beautiful. This is a quote from this guy. It's beautiful. My phone and emails have blown up. I mean, 30000 That's pretty big money there for the, you know, the tax-exempt guy who's running for office, too, by the way. Wow. Man, you have reached full-on slimeball status you're a slimy pastor preying upon people in a slimy way, and now you're going to go to the ultimate slimy field is you're going to run for office. Perfect. Perfect. Politics deserves you. But that is so, so deceptive, I think deceptive on every level. He says, it's beautiful. My phone has been blowing up. My emails have blown up. Experts on religious freedom claim that most people do not need a letter from clergy for a religious exemption. Your answer is usually good enough. And he's got 30,000, I don't even want to say stupid people, unfortunately stupid people, unfortunately people that have been deceived into believing that they can get the exemption just by giving him money to get a form. And oh, by the way, it's not a great idea for you not to get vaccinated. Can we start there? It's not a good idea. It's not a good look. Is it your right? 
It is. Did you need his document? You did not. But not only is he buying your influence, not only is he buying your <laughs> preying upon you and buying it, or you, you are buying it, you're not getting the vax either? You're going to go this far to not get the vaccine. Okay. Um, here we go. Here's, um, here's an expert, actually, of someone who's in theology. Says he's not really so selling a religious exemption. He's selling a bogus idea that you need one. And he's not just selling it to 50 people. He's not just Greg Lockie talking to 500 people, 500 losers. He's got 30,000 people already doing it. Lehmeyer is also runs <clears throat> an investment company where he buys and sells real estate. Are you tax exempt there too, Pastor? Look at this guy go. He's not even hiding this. But God knows your senators will call out Facebook and Instagram and, and demand legislation and demand doing something about it. No one's going to do something about this. I mean, is this really, I mean, to be honest, is this really that far removed from selling bogus vaccine cards? Is it? He also runs an investment company where he buys and sells real estate. Uh, he says, quote, I'm willing to sign no matter what. But I want, I want it to have weight. In order for it to carry weight, you have to be on an online member of my church, which means you have to give some money. I mean, you, you, get, you give him money, then he gives you a form that you don't need. Lamar said he has not taken any of the three, three authorized coronavirus vaccines and believes they were created with aborted fetal tissue. He said he's not anti-vax, but he has already had the virus and believes the people who are infected with it can be treated with medications like ivermectin. Yeah, he does sound anti-vax. And then he's turning around as an anti-vaxxer and selling you a form, selling you a form so you get an exemption yourself and to say that, oh, this is so stupid, a few people have taken advantage of it, 30,000 people have done it already and more are going to do it. Okay. Um, by the way, also, he's running for office. And of course, you could predict this. He is pro ivermectin. And of course, he does not believe Joe Biden's presidency is legitimate. Just want to get that out there, too. Oh, and are you tax exempt, buddy? Are you tax exempt? He's arguing, well, I don't sell it for much. I don't sell the form for much. I just want you to donate and, and become a member. But what should bother, I think what should bother you, one, is the silence about this guy and the silence and what he's doing. And what should bother you more is 30,000 people have done it in two days. From the Hot Pie Media Studios in Austin, Texas, it's the Jeff Ward Show. Listen at jeffwardshow.com.